Yep. So this video is going to be very controversial. Not that Mr. Epsion controversial. You know where I pick a bus topic and then pander to the side that I believe most of my followers are. Oh, no, no, no. Controversial in the sense that I'm going to drop some knowledge a lot of people don't normally hear nor want to hear. Yeah. Can't wait to read the comments on this video. I tell you what. So. Fifty Shades of Grey is coming out. Uh, I intend on uploading this video on probably about Friday, Saturday, you know, one of those days. So, um, yeah. Fifty Shades of Grey is coming out. Uh, and Fifty Shades of Grey has been reportedly been called uh, one of the most successful books of all time. One of the most best-selling books of all time, I think, to correctly name it. And honestly, when you understand the nature of women... It's not really all that shocking or surprising that Fifty Shades of Grey was such a fucking popular book. Now, I know a lot of people focus primarily on the S&M faction of Fifty Shades of Grey, and of course you are, because that's where most of the fantasy lies. But, you know, Fifty Shades of Grey being so popular really reveals the nature of women so much so that now we could just chat about it. Because, I mean, it's about to be a fucking motion picture film. Trilogy, if I'm correct. I mean, I would imagine they would add a all three books. Or maybe they won't. I mean, I still haven't gotten my fucking Eldest adaptation, so... For those of y'all who don't know, Eldest is the second book in the Aragon Inheritance Cycle. Anyway, let's talk about this. Fifty Shades of Grey. Well, I'm not really going to talk about so much of Fifty Shades of Grey as I'm going to talk about women. Now, I have been criticized a lot for talking about women, and I don't really care. I like all the insults that I get. They make me... They make me laugh, and you might paint me as a misogynist for what I'm going to say, but it's the truth, and I don't hate women, so you'd just be wrong. So, Fifty Shades of Grey is so popular because it panders to everything that women want in men, ever. And more than anything, it, it's the ultimate fantasy, or the ultimate desire of a woman. Well, maybe I shouldn't say the ultimate, but one of their most powerful desires. And, this is where the controversy begins, my friends. You see, Fifty Shades of Grey is so popular because women want to submit to men. Yeah, I know. I said it. I said it. I said it. I said it. That's right. Women want to be submissive or subject themselves to the authority of a man. They absolutely do. To prove that, let me just, uh, let me just, you know, get out the Holy Scripture. Let me just show you guys the evidence there. Let me just uh, turn this around. Uh, uh, here we go. Um, let me just... Uh, uh, sorrow and Conception. Oh, there we go. Uh, uh, sorrow and Conception. And then it goes and it says, um, And thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. Huh. Hold on. Uh, with that being said, I certainly hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you did, eh, go. Okay. For some people, that's probably not going to be enough evidence to convince you of what I just fucking said. Okay, well, is Fifty Shades of Grey being the most famous best-selling book of all fucking time not enough evidence to convince you of that factor? Okay, maybe it's the fact that women subject men to shit tests to see if men will stand up to them and put them in their place. I've heard women repeatedly say stupid shit like that. That it is a man's job to put me in my place. And they genuinely believe, they genuinely believe that a man should subject them or, you know, put them in their place or subjugate them. And I mean, a lot of women are masochistic, believe it or not. Not, like, sexually masochistic. I think sometimes emotionally masochistic, but that would be another video to talk about in the future. But yeah, women definitely want to subject themselves to the authority of a man. And I know a lot of people don't want to hear it. Especially the feminists. But it's the god-awful truth. They do. I mean, think about it for a second. If women didn't want all of these dominant and aggressive men, why the fuck do they pick all of these dominant and aggressive men to have sex with all the fucking time? Exactly. I mean... It's their fucking actions that deliberate why they do the things they do. Now, here's the thing. I know that not every woman wants to 
you know, um, be submissive in a sexual sense towards men. But they definitely want their men to take charge. Let me give you another example. Why do you think a lot of women want their guys to pick the dates that they go out on, right? Because they want men to take charge because they want to be the followers. It's their natural desire. They, they want to do it. Which is why there's nothing wrong with women being housewives. I mean, they, that's what they, they want to take care of their children and they want to take care of their husbands or even their male friends. I mean, have you ever seen your female friend be really maternalistic for no fucking reason or do lots of nice things for you just because she can? It's because she wants to. It's, it's in her nature, you know? I think another good example I can bring this up is my ex-girlfriend who said she wanted to be the bitch in the relationship. You know, like that girl, like if I told her to do something, like she did it. Like, I mean, like that at that moment in time, right? Like if I said stop doing this, boom, she stopped doing it. Like, I mean, it scared the shit out of me, but like I'm telling you, like if I told that girl to jump, like she wouldn't ask how high, she would just jump. Like that's, that's what I'm talking about. No, I'm fucking around, but you get my point, right? Because I hope you do. More than that, I think Christian Grey kind of represents everything that women ever want in men. And it's all in his attributes. Again, when you understand the nature of women, it's no real shock or surprise as to why Fifty Shades of Grey is their ultimate fantasy. Think about it for a second. Christian Grey is a millionaire. Security. He's tall and strong, intimidating. Protection. He looks good. Now she can imagine herself getting fucked. Uh, Anastasia Steele was a virgin, and, well, after she had sex with him, she was fucking bonded to him for a... And I know a lot of people might argue that whole thing about virgins don't bond to the first guy they have sex with, but that just certainly is just... It's true, they do. I mean, not all of them, but enough to be able to say that as objective fact. A lot of virgins do bond to men that they first had sex with. Anyway, again, I will contest that point in a later video. But, more than anything, though, what Christian Grey really did for Miss Anastasia Steele is he made her feel special. And that, my friends, is the ultimate factor in trying to get a girl to like you. You gotta make her feel special. You gotta make her feel differently from other girls. And I will talk about that in detail in another video for all of my younger men watching this stuff, which I don't think a lot of younger men do, but... I digress. The point that I am making is Fifty Shades of Grey is the ultimate fantasy for women because one, it fulfills their natural desire to submit to a man, which believe it or not, most women do want to submit to men. Um, two, it, it strikes every single attractive nerve or every single desire men want in men. I mean, Anastasia Steele gets a rich guy. And he's can take care of her, he can protect her, and they can have sex. I mean, it's everything women ever want in a relationship all rolled into one. And, and then, I mean, again, it's really no shock nor surprise that Fifty Shades of Grey is so popular when you understand the nature of women. And again, the evidence is in the fucking fantasies that all of these women have. I mean, they didn't want to imagine themselves being subjected to the authority of a man. Fifty Shades of Grey wouldn't have been so fucking popular and successful. So, yeah, hopefully this video has given you guys something to think about. These are topics I will delve into in much greater detail in the future. But I just kind of wanted to post that up to see what you guys would say about that and to see if the women would admit to it. And yeah, I am stating this as objective fact. I mean, it's sure, it's not every woman. Like, I don't want anyone to comment. No, no, but yeah, thank you. I got that. It's not everyone. But for the most part, that's... So that's what women desire. They desire to have a man be the leader in their relationship. They want the man to take care of them. That's what they want. That's what they've always wanted. It's evident in the men that they select to have sex with. I'm just saying. It's objective reality. You guys can... Again, Fifty Shades of Grey. The evidence is in the fact that it is the best-selling book of all fucking time. So, yeah. With that being said, I certainly hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, Man, go ahead and click that like button. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Comment in the comment box below. And as always, have a great day. I will see you cool cats soon. Adios.